Hello and welcome to another episode of the Fire Emblem Echo Shadows of Valentia Modified Iron Man playthrough. And well, today I will let you know right from the start, we're going to be grinding. We're going to be doing some of that grind with the own party and well, just try and get them to a point where they can kill Baku, essentially. Um, yeah, so if you're not interested in watching grinding, pretty much just skip this one. Come back next time and we'll be doing some Celica, but well, yeah. If that is the case, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. But for those of you that are sticking around, I hope you have a good time. Before we start, I would like to thank the people who back the channel on Patreon. It helps me out a lot, and I really do appreciate it. So thank you very much for that. And let's let's dive into this dungeon. Let's start exploring. Now, I have been told, has been made aware to me that I can do this. I can go to order. I can go to... I can make them retreat somehow. I can evacuate. I can evacuate okay. Faye, and now she doesn't gain XP. I wish I'd have known that from the start. Um, I'm sure when I've done it before, it's just pulled the whole party out, but maybe that's because I did it on, like, Ulm, and it pulled the whole party out. And I, I seem to remember thinking it would just take Ulm out, and I'd have to do it on all of them individually, and yeah, I don't know. I don't know. But either way, we can get rid of Faye now, and that's, that's good. We can actually pretend she's dead. Hello? What's that? Garlic? Okay. Ugh. Okay. Part of me wants to actually, like, try and, like, generate a bunch of mobs at once so we can actually, or, like, group them so we can actually get some interesting fights, but part of me just wants the grind to be easier. Hello, bread? The bread is actually valuable. Like, we are low on healing items. We definitely take those. Right. Hello, scrubs. <laughs> Yay, two squads. Okay, I don't think Forsyth will struggle too much against these. Nah, he's calm. Cool, let's go. Oh, we can uh, we can do this again. Actually, we don't need we don't need no sub uh, no subtitles. I said done. Um, no combat animations off. Okay, there we go. Um, Cliff's actually pretty close to leveling up. We should make sure he gets shoved over in this this battle. Good. That's a kill for him, and there is that level up. Hopefully, it is some pretty decent stats. Attack, speed, defense. I mean, that's the core three, right? That is the core three. I don't remember what double... Oh, it's just the, the big hitter. Um, Yeah, just go for it on. It'll be fine. Good crit. Nice. Oh, stop making yourself look good. It's, it's hard for... It's hard for him to not look good. He's just really strong. What do you want from him? Huh? Huh, <laughs> the miss. Okay, cool. I think the Scythe has the most, like, room to grow out of everyone here, right? So... Actually... I don't know if, like, Knight is a promoted class. Or if it's a, like... Hmm... Like, Archer promoted into, uh, like, Bow Knight, right? So, and, like, Cavalier promotes into Paladin. So is Knight gonna promote into something? Because Knight promoted from, like, Soldier or something like that. So, is Knight, like, the, the upper tier class or the lower tier class? We got it really early is what I'm thinking. So I think it might be the lower tier class. Um... And I guess, like, Soldier is almost like a villager equivalent, but, like, you don't get the choice of who you promote to. Okay, Forsyth's pretty close to, well, he's one XP away from promoting. Um, go take on these gargoyles. Oh, there's a dude in here. We'll, we'll kill you. Boom. Okay. Make sure we get this XP on Forsyth. Boop. Hey, we get the crit. Nice. Yeah, so I don't know if he's gonna, like, gain the option to promote or not- Oh! That was convenient. Um, I now know that he will gain the opportunity to promote. Um, that's handy. Okay, so he becomes a Baron. Okay. Boop. Boop. And we'll get this kill with Alm. I think we're going to try and just, like, take as many levels as we can possibly get before they we promote. Stood a chance. Ah! 
Leftover bread, we will take that. Flour. Leftover bread. We're getting some more healing items, and that is not a bad thing. Not at all. Oh, I didn't get the hit. Um, and actually, I think that might be... No, we do start combat. Okay. Unfortunately, we don't double these guys, which is a bit annoying. They do double us, actually, which is perhaps even more annoying. Very barely, though, actually. It's, it's not a bad performance there. Okay. That should be okay. Haha, <laughs> missed. I like the miss noise. Very, uh, satisfying. Oh, the crit for 60 damage. Let's go. For side taking names. Okay. Yeah, we're fine here. Oh, Tempest Lance for, uh, for for Scythe. That's pretty valuable. Okay. An extra 80 XP. Um, Excalibur is the option, the one that I skipped. There we go. Yeah, Forsyth is like the one who I think is probably most most worth giving the XP to. Just because I think he has the most room to grow. I don't know if there's any stack caps in this game. I don't think we've hit any. Shall we make a habit of this? Um I don't recall hitting any anyway. Characters just seem to have grown. Maybe it's more like Three Houses esque, where the, there are stack caps, but they're so high you're just never gonna see them. I'm gonna go into this scary section and we're gonna see what we can do down here. I'm gonna sprint as well because this is slow enough as it is. Okay. Hopefully we get some some money so we can continue forging our weapons. We don't get much from this, unfortunately. It's not like one of the ones with like grass everywhere and stuff like that, so. Yeah, we don't get that much from it, but... Oh, something's attacking me. Oh, we've just triggered everything? Um... Okay, that's perfectly handleable. Off you go, Forsyth. Alm just took yourself away. You're the one who's in danger of dying, let's be honest. Um... Yeah, just vibe. You'll be okay. Boop. Okay, that is a two-shot. That is fine. Oh, don't miss. That's not good. Okay. We're getting through these gargoyles. Uh, I don't know how many hits Olm can actually take. He does get doubled. Actually, he doesn't two-shot either. Um, I think Cliff will be fine defensively because... Wow. Um, yeah, because... He only takes one, and actually he doesn't get doubled in the process. In fact, he actually doubles in the process. Um, let's give Cliff this top kill. Okay, so he only gets seven for a kill, whereas... Um, Forsyth is able to get ten, I think it was. Hopefully he bags a crit here. Most of these will go for Forsyth, though, which is good. Um... Okay, this is fine, this is fine. Hey, we did get a crit, nice. That's a level up for Forsyth again. Up to level 11, the grind, paying off. We get some skill in defense. The defense is valuable. We need him to start taking bonds from like the actual threatening enemies, not just random gargoyles. Um, okay. We can throw some cliffs away, there's no harm in it. We don't need it, like, all to go to Forsyth. I just want him to get the lion's share, really. Oh, I do want to go and see... Wait, why am I not... Uh, it's so, like, difficult to figure out whether to promote or not, because, like... Oh, Forsyth is fatigued. That's not good. Um, yeah, it's really difficult to figure out, like, whether to promote or not, because on the one hand, right, if you promote later, you get more levels, but also the promotions give you, like, base raises. Like, they just flat raise to, like, a set level. So if you level... If you get, like, more 
of that stat, it's just going to waste her because you would have been bumped up to that anyway. Come over here. Oh, two squads. Oh, he starts at half HP because he's fatigued. Okay, he'll be fine. Um, yeah, you'll get a crit. No, you didn't. Okay, fine. It just means Forsyth gets more kills. Run away, y'all. Yeah, he can take all this. It's not a problem. Especially because now he kills this one as well. So he only has to take one damage. Yeah. I don't actually think that back one can reach for Scythe. He might just go for Cliff. Yep. Cool. Uh, can all actually reach one? I've moved him too far away, haven't I? Guess we could um, do this. We could convoy, lightning sword, swap, arts, thunderclap. Oh, you don't kill. Well, that's disappointing. Um, that plan didn't quite work out, did it? Hey. Okay. My target's on now. It's annoying. Oh, Om's actually pretty close to leveling. I'll get this guy with him. We'll go back to the Royal Sword as well. Oh, sorry. I mean the Ike. How could I? How could I forget its name? Horrific from me. Okay, 10 XP. Om's close to leveling. He'll be at 99 after the um, the bonus EXP. In reality, I probably should have given that kill to someone else because that was just. Mm, well, I don't know actually. Is there anything in here? At least I can actually check these rooms now. No. Oh, a solitary silver coin. Well, the, realistically, I should probably, like, do this, right? I should evacuate. And then if I just go back in now, is... For Scythe all happy again and not dead. Um, yep, cool. Uh, and then we explore. We did actually get like a decent amount of XP and levels, especially on For Scythe. So it's not like too cumbersome. I just wish it was like actually like challenging. Like I kind of was like GBA style arenas, right? Where there was actually a threat of death. Um, I, I know we had that one fight that very nearly went pear-shaped, but... Like, I don't know. I think if you're going to get the opportunity to grind infinitely, that should come at, like, some sort of either either a cost. As in, you should lose a resource to do it, like money, for example, or something like that. Or, um... Like, you sh it should actually be dangerous. You should have the threat of death. Um... Which, the overworld battles do an okay-ish job of, especially some of them, although some of them are just long, boring, and slow. But... These dungeon battles are actually just kind of dull. Um, I don't know, I just wish they had more to them. Like, I wish they were fun fights. Like, obviously in standard play, there is no reason to ever do this. It's literally just because of the Iron Man. The Iron Man and some horrifically bad play. Okay. Forsyth is just going to farm these because these are... These guys actually give decent EXP. We'll keep Cliff in range in case Forsyth... Oh, Forsyth does need help. Those actually hit kind of hard. Uh, I guess that's the reason they give decent EXP. Okay. Back it up. Drop our cover, why not? I do want to bring them in close so that Ong can at least pick one of them up to get that level that he needs. Oh, they prefer to target Cliff. Interesting. <laughs> miss. Oh, miss. Um. Double Lion's a brave attack, right? So we should be fine coming out of this. There we go. HP and skill? HP and skill's okay. It's a fine level up. Oh, uh, is it better to just kill one here, or is it better to, um... 
Heal on him. I think it's better to just kill one, honestly. There we go. I knew you had it in you. Wow, the double crit. Let's go home. Okay, nice. Ah, oh, Forsyth's like close to leveling. We made it. Okay, let's go see what this Baron promotion gets us. I'm just gonna. Uh, we might as well kill anything we see. Yeah, get over here. Fight me. Oh, yeah, before we promote to Baron, we might as well level up again anyway. Okay. Alright, let's go. Just say the word. <laughs> that miss is annoying. Oh, good crit, though. Let's go. Cliff with that 69 EXP. Actually, it's just occurred to me that we've seen the, the Dread Fighters, and um, those look like a promoted version of uh, Myrmidon. Uh, which itself is a promoted version of Mercenary, Mercenary, which is a promoted version of Villager. So, I wonder if Sage will promote, right? Because we also, like, know Gold Knight exists. Like, I know Gold Knight is a Gaiden class. So, I'm wondering... Okay, two defense, two attack, one HP. It's better to just get him to level 20, I think. He'll gain more than that from those levels. Um... I think. And if he doesn't, he's still hitting those bases. There's actually never a scenario in this where you lose out by promoting first, because it's not like three houses system where it's one continuously rolling level. Um, it resets when you class up. Okay. But yeah, so I wonder if Sage is going to promote, because I'm pretty sure Paladin promotes, and I'm pretty sure... Um, in fact, Sniper promoted to Bonite, didn't it? Not Archer, it was Sniper. So yeah, it goes Archer, Sniper, Bonite. Mm. Mercenary, Myrmidon, Dreadfighter, I think. Cavalier, Paladin, Gold Knight, I think. So, Mage, Sage. Eh? Like, you know, it, it makes sense that there would be another one on there. So maybe it is worth, like, pumping some more into Cliff than I currently am doing. Um, because I think there's going to be a, another tier to that class which would be able to be unlocked. Just end the turn. Someone might go for Om, he'll be fine. He can look after himself. Boop. Oh, this is slow. Okay. Boop. Good stuff. So yeah, I'm thinking like... It's... We're probably going to see a promoted version of Cliff at some point. Let's just get out of this an extra turn earlier. Why not? Save a little bit of time. Doesn't actually really save any time at all. Forsyth still actually gets a decent amount of bonus EXP is the real thing. Um, although, I don't know if that's just because he's participating in more combat. Get over here. Two squads? Okay. Which one has the steel sword? Both of you. Huh. Fine. Just say the word. Okay, this will kill. Good. Okay, there's one steel sword dead. All right, let's go. Cool. Double from Forsyth sets that guy up for near death. Good crit. Let's go. And that's a level up for Scythe. Attack and defense? Hey, look, it's the stats that we get from promoting. Okay, 17 defense is actually getting to be a pretty respectable number. He's uh, not tankier than... Uh, Cliff isn't tankier than him anymore, even with the Iron Shield, actually. Um, he is legitimately bulky at this point. Um, only taking 5 from those Steel Swords is actually okay. Also, 21 attack is actually nothing to scoff at either. That's a very respectable number. Um, can we kill with double iron? 
We're probably correct, right? Yeah, there we go. By probably, by the way, I meant not probably, but you know. Gotta have faith. That's just aura. So yeah, I'm thinking if we keep leveling Cliff up, we're gonna get some mystery third magical tier. Shall we make a habit of this? I think I got carried away. Okay, we don't want to be fatigued, so let's um evacuate. Everyone get back! Go back in. I don't know how strong we really need to be to compare to like the enemies on uh, the Bakut map. Maybe at the end of this video we will uh, take a look, see how we how we compare to them. But I don't know how long I'm only going to have three units for. Like we've had Selica's Revival Shrine, but I kind of thought I might have missed Olms in here, but it doesn't look like it. Like I think at this point I've pretty much explored every nook and cranny of this dungeon uh, multiple times, and yeah, nothing has revealed itself as a Revival Shrine. Um, sadly, as I would very much like, um, like Faye back. If nothing else, I would like Faye back and probably Silk as well, actually. Okay, so two squads. Oh, I forgot to evacuate Faye. I'm a dummy. Uh, get out of here. Kill. Good job. It's fine, we can tank that. Oh, good hit. Let's go, Forsyth. Oh no, he only gets 90 XP now. The drop off is real. Uh, if we don't crit, that's actually somewhat dangerous. Let's clear up everything else first and then we'll go for that. Um, that's a kill. Good. Oh, level up for Cliff. I think that's level 10. Just HP. Right. It's not ideal. Um, we could actually really do with, like, Forsyth and potentially Cliff gaining some resistance. Like, I think that's the stat that's really gonna hold us back. Hey, we get the crit. Nice. Because we've just got nobody to deal with those majors. They never stood a chance. Like, regardless of what we do, we don't have an answer to those. How are we doing for money? But yay, okay. We are getting an amount of money. Okay. Okay. That was just the resistance water which we've already drank with Faye, who is now dead. Oh, I forgot to undeploy her again. I'm sorry, I'll do it after this. I don't mean to be like grinding her quote unquote illegally. Should have done that first because um support. Three XP for a kill on Cliff is tragic. Okay. That was a fine victory. Okay. Um, we can fight the gargoyles, right? Go on, Forsyth, do your thing. Hang on, hang on, let me check something. He's got 11 speed minus one, so he goes down to 10. Nah, okay. I was gonna say, could I, like, give him a Pegasus cheese and, um... I forgot to undeploy Faye again. I'm so dumb. Um, yeah, could I give him a Pegasus cheese to let him double these gargoyles? Because it just speed up these fights, like, quite significantly. If he gains one more speed, then I could. Like, that becomes a viable option. I kind of wish we had the, the uh, 
Actually, never mind, I'm so... I was gonna say I wish we had the Killer Lance in this party, but the Killer Lance isn't in the other party, it's in another game. It's in, um... It's in FE12. Um, where I recently got a Killer Lance. Uh... Bonk. Actually, I'm gaining a little bit of EXP there. Oh, both Alm and Forsyth are going to be like really close to leveling at the same time, which is a little bit unfortunate. Uh, because we're not going to be able to push them both up. Nice. Okay, there's the Alm level. Gain tanky stats. Defense is a tanky stat. HP is a tanky stat. Actually, I basically got what I asked for. All right, sure. Randomly gain 11 XP from this guy. Damn it. Okay, well, we make a habit of this? he'll be in a position to um to level after or in the next fight. So it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Eh. Boop, boop. It's probably faster to just go like in and out of the door to the shrine thinking about it than all the way down here. But all the way down here gives me... It reset the other barrels as well, actually. I was going to say this might give me more money, but not really, because everything gets reset when you enter and leave an area. It doesn't matter which area it is. It just has that like annoying tunnel that slows everything down here. Although I think this area does actually have like more breakables than most of the others, so... I'm trying to optimize the grinding now, Christ. Oh, I missed. How much are we fighting? Oh, just three squads? That's fine. I forgot to undeploy Flay! Oh my god. It's because I just shove her away in the corner and then I just forget about her. Just say the word. Alright, let's go. Okay. Gain speed. Hey, he did gain speed. Also attack HP. He's leveling really nicely, actually. He's turned into quite the unit at this point. So yeah, if we have a Pegasus cheese and we give it to Paul Scythe, he'll double the gargoyles, and then he can just like run through all these. So it would be really quick. Um. Let's go to this one. Okay. Boom. Wow, Cliff is uh taking it to these guys. I don't know why they're targeting him. That's a weird choice. I didn't think they would do that. Maybe it's just because they actually just do damage to him. I'm not sure. Okay, well if I put Cliff here, all of these guys should just crash into Forsyth and we'll get through them all. Because Forsyth just gets more EXP from- like, he's still getting 10 from these guys, whereas like, uh, Cliff's getting like 3. So yeah, like, Forsyth just levels faster, we get more stats on the board from getting the kills onto him. Um, and obviously we've got that, that Baron promotion to come in as well. Okay, and he gets like, bonus XP if oh, Forsyth's fatigued. Okay. Retreat. Right. Undeploy. Oh, hi, Necro Dragon. Um, I'm just gonna move Selica's party out of the way. Um. Thank God I did that when I did. Okay. Oh, didn't mean to go that far. Oops. There we go. Uh, there we go. Undeploy Fey, undeploy Fey, undeploy Fey, undeploy Fey, undeploy Fey, undeploy Fey. There we go. I remembered. Okay, we're getting close to 50 gold. We might be able to actually, like, buy an upgrade. 
with that. I doubt it, actually. The upgrades, like, on the characters we're actually using are kind of custy at this point. Custy? That's not what. Custy. Although we might be able to trade some stuff in, get some more silver from that, maybe find an upgrade that way. I can't remember what tier of Lance the Marcia was, whether it was silver or um, steel. I think it was steel. Oh, did we have a Pegasus cheese? We do have a Pegasus cheese. Because it's not like Forsyth is slow. So this might actually help him out. And if nothing else, it'll make the grinding a lot quicker. Yeah, eat the Pegasus cheese. Yes, because I don't want to be sat grinding for longer than I have to. And this basically like, du like halves the time of the gargoyle fights. Like, I value my real world time more than I value like the gameplay benefits from using that on somebody else. Yeah, Forsyth, just do it, buddy. Just do it, buddy. One of those might actually target Alm. He'll be fine, though. No, nope, they're all just targeting Forsyth. Cool. We're actually getting, like, not close, but, like, to a point where Forsyth might reasonably one-shot these guys. I think they're living on, like, 8 HP, maybe, so he just needs to gain a little bit more damage. Just another level up, though, for the big man. Um, HP, skill, and defense. More tank stats. That's good. HP is pretty valuable because even if we don't get resistance, it lets him take those mage hits a little bit better. So, um, yeah, I want to promote Forsyth. I want to get our Baron. Oh, I was trying to move everyone out of range of this guy. Although Ohm still gets nine XP, it's not like that's a bad kill. I don't know when Ohm's going to promote though, because again, Selica got her revival shrine. Selica got her promotion. Like. Selica's got everything and uh Ulm just hasn't really. Also feels like Selica's had more units, although uh, I don't know. Maybe that's not true actually. I have killed nine of Ulm's friends. I feel like Selica has more than 13 units though. Or 10 units, 12 units. Ooh! Okay, we one-shot them when they're injured. That's at least something. Oh, now we only gain 8 XP per kill. No! Disaster! Oh, we don't one-shot this one, do we? Nope, that's annoying. 4, eight, uh, four XP for the hit. Okay. Good. Oh, that one gave us 9. Okay. Shall we make a habit of this? Yeah, and we still get some bonus EXP on Forsyth, which is quite nice. Now, what I'm hoping is that by giving Forsyth the Pegasus Cheese, that the Gargoyle fight should go a lot quicker. Um, okay, annoying how they spawn that size. I don't know if I'm even going to be able to get like Forsyth out of range. Um, they will almost definitely target Chris or uh, Cliff over him at this point. Um, although then they'll all just die straight away. So, oh, don't miss. That's... <laughs> this way he'll one round the gargoyle he misses. Thanks for Scythe. Thanks a bunch. Ha! That's what you get for targeting Alm. Oh no, they're targeting for Scythe over Cliff. That's fine. Good. Okay, he's going to level up again. We get another Forsyth level up. Let's go. Come on. Good stats. Good numbers. Good numbers. Good numbers. I can HP and this. luck. Though, okay, HP's fine. Um, and I don't know. We've mentioned the, the crit problem a couple of times. Like, you know, we face a lot of just low percentage crits. Luck should help cancel that out, you know? It, it's technically a dump stat, but... It, Less dumpy than it normally is. Wow, 20 XP for Forsyth in the bonus. Um, yeah, I'm just going to go down here and just reset the enemies from this way. It just seems quicker. Yeah, we just have to do that. That's fine. Doesn't take long at all. I missed. I'm gonna start putting Forsyth on the right, I swear. 
Just say the word. All right, let's go. Okay, so he should just straight up one shot these now. Good, let's go. Worthwhile Pegasus cheese usage, I think. Speeds this up massively. You know what? We could even just do this. <laughs> you just get through entire battles in like seconds. Okay, we need like one EXP for Forsyth to uh, promote. I mean, honestly, that's probably what I'd do off camera. Oh, Forsyth is fatigued. Ooh, this is a big pile of enemies. Uh, it's a bad time for Forsyth to be fatigued, being honest. Um, okay, it'll be fun though. Mm, stupid. <laughs> Attack and speed? Good level up. Very good level up. Uh, convoy, lightning sword, swap. Attack, lightning sword. Oh, I thought we could move here and hit this guy. That's a shame. Okay, this guy decided he wanted to die today. Fine by me. Good crit. Actually wouldn't have killed without the crit, so yeah, very good crit. Oh, targeting cliff over for Scythe there. That's fine. I mean, I'm not complaining. Surprised, but not upset. Okay, where are the steel swords at? That's a steel sword, that's a steel sword, that's a steel sword. Okay, let's try and kill some of these steel swords then. Okay, good. That's a one shot. Oh, not quite. He'll be fine though. Okay, even more EXP for Forsyth. For a second, I thought Ulm was the one on 5 H HP, and I was like, oh no, I messed up. Oh, no, that's a Steel Sword, that's fine. Plus, nobody else can reach him, so... We're okay. Uh, arts... Oh, we don't have... What's for do 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 Not kill, that's what it does. Um... You know what, let's just take this easy. Um, let's just make this, like, easy for ourselves. Don't worry about me. Ooh, we would take a lot of damage doing that. Um, there are no steel swords left on the map, though, so I'm pretty sure we just take one from these guys, which means we would actually live if we went for that Excalibur. Uh, or that, that aura. But I'll throw an Excalibur at him, screw it. There we go. Wait, I might have just gotten Cliff killed. I'm going to kill this guy with Olm. Uh, I think if I'd have just ended the turn there, Cliff might have taken two attacks and just died. I think pretty sure he takes ones actually, but so he would have been fine. But yeah, better to be safe. Good. Let's go. <sighs> we made it. Somehow. Nice. Yeah. See, Om got a little bit more uh, bonus XP that time, so I take it it's based on like the amount you do in a fight, how much you get. What is that? Aren't those like the enemies that were like glowing in this dungeon? The one that just spawned over by Salakar, I mean. Oh, I should switch back to uh, the Royal Sword. There we go. Okay. The old part is doing alright here. We should be at a point, actually, where we can take on the... Uh, Lebekut map. I think we'll do a bit more Salica before we even try to take it on, though. Just don't want all the grinding to be in one big chunk. Uh, I said this in the last episode, but if you're seeing this, it's probably because I'm short on content, and I'd rather put out grinding than nothing. Um... Oh, I forgot to end the play Flare. Faye! No, I can't leave it to you. You're dead. Just say the word. Okay. There we go. <laughs> Save a bit of time. Save all the time we can.
Bone Walker Oil. Send that to the convoy. Um, 92, we're gonna get another level up. Damn. Forsyth is flying. Skill, speed, defense. Okay, let's go. Getting very bulky. 19 defense. 16 speed is no joke either. Plus, we've still got that promotion to come in. Now, it probably won't give him any stats, but what it will do is... Um, it'll probably give him some abilities. Some, some, yeah, some boosts in that regard to play around with. Um, hello, enemies. Hello, Bone Walker. Fight me. I still forgot what to play. Oh my god. I'm so bad at this. Alright, let's go. Just say the word. The word. I did it. I just said the word. Why do you not die? Die. Yeah, send the bone walker oil to the convoy. I don't know what bone walker oil does. Is it just a cell? I think it's just a cell. Okay, Forsyth is close to leveling again. Uh, if we go fight these gargoyles, he'll probably level up again. Taking him to level 19, give him just one more. I assume 20 is the cap. I'm not actually like... All right, let's go. Yeah, I'm not like actually... Like, I've not seen anything within this game to believe that 20 is the cap, but it's, it's Fire Emblem. 20 is probably the cap, right? There's... To my knowledge, one game is the exception to that rule, and that's three houses. I might be wrong about that, though. I might have played other games that are the exception to that rule and just forgotten, to be honest. Cool. What are we looking at here, Forsyth? What are you giving me? HP, attack, and skill? It's not a bad one, you know? HP and attack going up is good, and skill increasing that reliability. An underrated trait. Yeah, we need him to land these attacks. So, basically, we've got Super Forsyth here. He's just... I think I got carried away. Forsyth is fatigued. I'm not surprised. He's literally fighting everything. Retreat. We only did, like, three fights and Forsyth got fatigued. Because he's pretty much the only one doing anything here. This is more like the Forsyth training arc rather than the, like, everyone training arc. Um... There we go. No, don't order for Scythe to leave the dungeon. He's the one who we actually need here. Silver! Yay! Yeah, I wonder if there's anything else we could forge up to, like, surpass the Mars here. The problem is still those mages. Although, I think now Forsyth is at a point where he won't get doubled by them, and he's got enough HP to take, like, hits from them, kind of. Um, it just kind of sucks that we don't have... What the? Alright, come on then. Come on. Okay, some Bone Walkers too. How much damage do you have? 20? Ha! Ha ha! Ha ha ha! Yay! Yeah, stand aside. Let's go, Forsyth. Take him on. I, I got you. I got you, Forsyth. I believe in you. Oh, you got HP? Forsyth got damage. We still two-shot them. Still. A oh, 1? 30. 30. Boom. Dropped. Silver purse. Give me that. Oh, 14 XP for that as well, you know? 20 silver is that? That'll help us get closer to um, buying these forged weapons. Okay, we can get Forsyth to level 20 here. Um, he'll probably go over 20, actually, but, like, I don't know. I'll put I'll put Cliff here. He can bait in an enemy or two. If they're in range. It's better than the XP just going to waste on a Forsyth. He can't gain any. Okay. No, stop missing. Good crit. Okay, made up for the crit with a... Or oh, made up for the miss with a useful crit. Got it there too. Hits level 20 and yeah, didn't gain any additional XP, so 20 is the cap. Attack and defense and HP? You know what? That's a very good final level in the night class. And Ulm. Take this one. Pretty close to leveling himself, actually. 
And then Cliff can take this one. For a lowly three experience. Okay. Yeah, so, as you can see, Forsyth can't gain and he just has a little dash next to his number. Okay. So I'm going to actually try and avoid the enemies here. Okay. I didn't do a very good job of that. Not for any particular reason, I just can't really be bothered to fight them. Um... What's your range? All right, let's go. Feels weird not just using Forsyth to kill everything. Um, it's basically been the last 45 minutes of just the Forsyth show. Okay. Let's go. We hit that level up with all skill and defense. Defense is good. We really do need defense to go up. Skill is not bad either. Fine victory. Okay. Avoid the gargoyles. Let's get that promotion in for Forsyth. Level 20 Baron. Not what I meant to do. Just, he still gains a single hit point from this. That's quite nice. It looks like he's going to gain some more things. Um, he gains heavy armor. Halves damage from bows. That could be useful. I don't think he's going to be taking much damage from bows anyway, but there are some bows on the Bakut map, so... You know, this might help him out. I want to see how it looks. Forsyth has earned this promotion. Simply by not dying, Forsyth has earned this promotion. Look at him. He got a new hairstyle. Yeah, it looks different. If this is my new calling, so be it. Good job, Forsyth. Learn the skill heavy armor. Oof. Okay. I think what we're gonna do is uh what am I doing though? Right, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna evacuate uh with armor. We'll go take a look at the Bakut map. Now we can always just exit. Oh my god, the Necro Dragons. Sluice gate interior. No, I want to go here. We're just going to observe. We're not going to start the fight, you know. We're not. We're not doing any of that. But we're going to observe, right? So Forsyth has 20 defense, 16, sp 15 speed with the Marcia equipped. Um, he almost. He doesn't get doubled by Bakut there, even on speed. And well, with 21 attack, Bakut is hitting him for one damage. Okay, now we're cooking. How much do these guys do? So they don't double him, and they've got 11 attack with a 10 might spell on the Maya guys, and a 3 might spell. So they've either got 14 or 21 damage, and none of them double. Um, and we have 6 resistance, so they're either dealing 8 or 15. Now that's not good, obviously that's not good. But it's serviceable. It's okay. We can take a couple of 14s because everything else on the map will be hitting him for one. Um, actually, you know what? I take it back. These Armonites hit him for two. In fact, they hit him for three. Bam. You go, Armonites. The bigger problem with these is we can't counterattack them. That's what's going to get us stuck on those. We can't like, actually kill them. Um, even if we had, like, a javelin to give here, we don't have the capacity to kill the three range Maya guys. Um, is the Seth the Silver Lance? And the Marcia the Steel Lance? I think so, right? So the Marcia has more crit, but the Seth has more hit, is that right? I got those the right way around. Yeah, I would, if it's called yeah, so we get 10 more hit on the Silver Lance, but this has a boost of 5 crit, and I think it does the Silver Lance way more. Let's go see if we can't uh, forge the Silver Lance anymore at the Smithy. I don't know what we need to do. Oh god. Now they're all doubling up. Oh god, look at them. Big piles of enemies.
Um, Welcome. Yeah, can we not forge Seth any further? Oh, we can get an extra upgrade on Seth, giving one more damage. Um, we don't get that weight taken off until the final one is the thing. Um, that would be really nice. Can we trade anything in? Um. Oh, we do also have this Fruit of Life, which increases HP. That could be useful. I can't remember where all the traders were. Um, or what they wanted, honestly. Um, like, who wanted what on each side. A ring with healing properties? That could actually be useful, you know? Are these, like, just for trading? I don't know. Hmm. It's a difficult one. It really is a difficult one. Many thanks. Okay. Well, there are some things to be considered. Um, Forsyth is now incredibly strong. He's an absolute beast of a man. God, look at all this garbage we've got to get through. Well, anyway. Um, bit of a shorter episode, but I'm bored of grinding. So we're going to leave it there, and next time we'll pick back up with some Celica, start smashing through these, and yeah. Uh, if you stuck through this video, I do appreciate it. I'm aware that grinding probably isn't the most exciting thing to watch, so thank you if you did. Um, and apart from that, I will catch you all next time. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you again to the people who back the channel on Patreon. I really do appreciate it. Uh, yeah, it helps me out a lot, so thank you for that support. And, well, I'll see you all soon. Have a wonderful day, and goodbye.